Hi, and welcome to my video. My name's Olivia Pasileg, and today I'm gonna be talking about myself, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, uh, an easy way to remember how to pronounce my last name is like, pass a foot, pass an arm, pass a leg. Um, I've kind of been saying that my whole life, so um, that's just an easy way to remember how to pronounce it, but yeah. Um, anyways, uh, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I use she, her pronouns, uh, and just here I added a couple, um, photos of myself in the slideshow here. Um, so there's me as a baby, and then there's me a little bit older, uh, sledding at a hill in Ottawa. Um, but I just thought I should include these because, um, my childhood was a really big part of becoming who I am. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd include that, but, um, I'm in my first year and I'm majoring in mathematics and uh, everybody thinks I'm really weird for it, but trust me, somebody has to love it, so I definitely don't mind taking the part. Um, and I'm also affiliated with uh, Trail College, um, so yeah. Another little section I included in here was a couple photos of me and some female role models in my life. Uh, the one on the left being my grandmother, who I absolutely adore and love to pieces. Uh, she wouldn't have made this Trent experience possible um, without her, so thank my grandma Jean. <laughs> and then on the right, uh, there's my sister, which also uh, probably wouldn't have made this possible if it weren't for her with the endless amount of um, support and love she has given me. So I just wanted to put them in because uh, they were super huge and pushing me to come to Trent and um, it's just something that I felt like I had to include. So I come from a small town called Madoc, Ontario. I'll show you a little photo here. This is my town. It's just a photo of the lake that's near my house, but um, yeah, I decided to include a little photo because it was a really big place for me growing up. Um, you may have passed through it if you have um, driven to Ottawa from Peterborough. Um, it's a little tiny town. I don't expect you to remember it by any means. There's only about 2,000 people there. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a really tiny town, but it is my hometown, so I do have some respect for it. But overall, it's a beautiful place, and I can always go back there to recuperate. So I'm currently only speaking English, however, sometime in the future I learn how to speak, I want to learn how to speak Finnish. Unfortunately for me, I only know Happy Birthday, which is Hyväsintämäpäivä, and uh, Yolopuki, which is Santa Claus, I believe. Um, but yeah, so in the future sometime I'm hoping to learn Finnish, but for right now I only speak English. So to expand some more on why I took this course and kind of my hopes and goals for this course, um, well, one of the main reasons is uh, I needed to take this course for the ICR, but um, on top of that, just as an individual, I would just love to learn more about um, the Indigenous peoples in Canada. Um, like, for example, um, in my school, there just wasn't a lot of, of great, uh, well-rounded courses about Indigenous studies. The, the courses we had were very short-lived and very general, so I'm really happy to be taking this course um, for myself to better my understanding of the, you know, uh, hardships of Indigenous peoples and the culture and the identity. I, I really would love to learn more about it. So I am very excited going forward to the in the course. Um, I just hope to learn more about the different aspects of Indigenous life. And sort of to end off here, I just wanted to say um, thank you so much for listening. Um, about Olivia Pasileg, not Olivia Pasalugi or Olivia Pasalegu, please. <laughs> um, I also forgot to mention that I don't have any sort of nickname or preference. You can really call me whatever as long as it's not Pasalegu. <laughs> um, but regardless, thank you so much for listening, and I am so excited to uh, get more in depth with this course. Thank you.